Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to um, show you guys some savings challenges. I need some help deciding which one to do and I'm hoping you guys can kind of help me make the final decision. Decision. So I'm gonna walk through some of the savings challenges that I have and you guys can kind of let me know in the comments what you think I should do. Uh, let's start with these mini savings challenges. So I have a mini savings challenge for a total of $300. I like this because it has some smaller um, bills like $2, $4. So I think that's, that's always a good one. I do enjoy these. And so I made a mini savings for $100. And I had made this a while back. I don't think I ever used it. I don't remember, but this one had smaller bills too, like $1, $5. I don't think there's anything over $10 on here. I do like this because when I cash stuff, um, sometimes I have like $2, $3 left over in a category. And so then I could take that money and send it towards a savings challenge like this. So these two are options for me. Um, I guess I don't really have like a total amount of money in mind that I really want to save. I just know I want to start a savings challenge and kind of get back in my groove of um, cash saving. Uh, we do save money. We just send it to our checking account right now. But sometimes I find that when it is out of our account, it's a little bit easier to like not touch again. <laughs> so um, I had made this a while back. I never used it. It's a $100 mystery savings challenge. I don't think there's anything higher than a $20 bill um, in here. So that is definitely an option. I feel like this could go pretty quickly because there's only eight options to scratch off. So that's another good one just for a quick $100 savings. Um, I also made this a while back and never used it. It's a scratch off. Um, I don't remember what the denominations are, but if I had to guess, I probably didn't go over 20 or 25. I could have, I don't know. It might just be a surprise to me. <laughs> so I've considered doing this one too because I really forgot what's underneath each one. I mean, I forgot what's underneath here too, but I know it's not over... Um, ten dollars I think I think <laughs> so I don't know it, it would just kind of be a fun surprise I guess um, and a fun way to save and I think this might only total a hundred and fifty maybe two hundred I'm not entirely sure so that might just be a good surprise savings challenge and then I also have this, which I've held on to because it feels incomplete to me. So this is a $500 challenge um, that I had started, gosh, probably last year or early this year, I guess. And I had removed that money to add to a bigger savings challenge because sometimes I don't like doing so many little ones. I'd rather just finish a big one, big savings challenge. And so I ended up removing that money. And so now I'm like stuck. What do I do with it? Would you just throw this away? Would you jump back in, restock the, that money and keep going? Uh, let me know in the comments below. What would you do with it? Would you just start from the beginning and mark it with a different color? I don't know. I, I and when I turn it, I can I can read um, what the amounts are, even though I sharpied them out. So it probably wouldn't be too hard to um, just jump back in. I think if I add this up, it's probably close to a hundred dollars. If I had to guess, I didn't add it up, but. I could jump back into this one and just finish it and be done with it. It feels, it just feels a little incomplete and I think that's why I've held on to it for so long is I feel like I do want to finish it. So this is a potential candidate too. And then we're going to jump into some longer savings challenges. Um, I finished this one at the beginning of this year. This was a $5,000 savings challenge. So I do need to go in and uh, erase all these check marks. But I like that this is broken down into sections. I feel like there is some potential to do this again, just because if I wanted something with a greater amount, this is 5,000 versus I think the highest one I have here is 500 and 300. So this would probably be a little more long-term 
Um, I'm not sure I want to commit to doing this right now just because I just finished this at the beginning of the year so it feels kind of repetitive to me so maybe that's um, a good reason not to do it <laughs> but I don't know I'm just I guess looking for your guys it guys's advice and you know I could always do a mini one and then I'm, I've seen some people on YouTube they complete like a mini savings challenge like this like a fun little one and then they like roll it into a bigger one so that that's an option too I don't know I guess I've just always done like little ones where I like mark something off and then this big one so then I have this this is a 100 envelope savings challenge that I've created myself I was just having fun making these little envelopes and as you can see my dimensions are a little off because they don't fit perfectly in this little holder but you know it works so I have these um, they don't have numbers on them because I have this sticker sheet so that when I fill one I can just select the the number or the amount and stick it on or I could just stick all of these on each envelope first and go from there I was kind of leaning towards like just take it off of here and stick it on when I fill it um, that way I can see like the whole overview of how much I have left and I've never done one of these so I think this would be really fun to do I've seen a lot of these on YouTube where people are filling a hundred envelopes I'm just not sure how quickly I could accomplish this I would really have to uh, commit to it because some of these feel pretty high to me <laughs> like this like this whole section feels high but honestly I think it's a really good savings goal to have and so that is an option I also uh, I totally forgot to grab it I have a little savings challenge it's like a little leather um, I don't know holder and I think their denominations are like 25 30 bucks and I think altogether you save 500 but it's like a little one uh, a little case with labeled uh, envelopes so there's that one too but please help me decide I don't know I'm kind of leaning towards like one of these and maybe one of these to like just I don't know just do it just use it up and then maybe jumping into one of these bigger ones um, along the same lines or I guess I could kind of just jump into them all I've seen people create like their own uh, binders for savings challenges and like savings games and so I, I could do something that, with with that but that's not exactly how my brain works my brain kind of like wants to complete something before I start something new and so I think that's why I'm really struggling with this one is like my brain is telling me I need to finish this <laughs> so maybe maybe I'll have to finish this and then maybe start something new like this um, 100 envelope challenge or something but let me know in the comments below what you think I should do because I'm really I'm at a turning point I don't know I I do have inspiration here and I do feel inspired to save with these things so let me know what you think I should do in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one bye